Good evening. Welcome to the Board of Trustees Miami Township meeting of February 23rd, no, 22nd, 2023. I'd like to call this meeting to order at 5.01 p.m. And now I'll accept the, a motion to approve the minutes of February 6th. I so move. Um, and I'll second. Any discussion? Chris had one. The second um, page about bed bugs. I didn't have to bring it up again. What's that three all about? Station, you need a number. No, he said he thought there were like three seen. They saw a whole three of bed bugs, is what he had said. That's all. That's all. Is it three or four? <laughs> three. I think we can go. With three. He can't even prove that they were bed bugs. Though. Yeah. So I know that's why it was. Quite, that why, that's why it was three question mark because okay. he said I think there were three. Okay. And so the, on the next page it says um, the burn schedule every other year, every other or every four years. It's four is correct. And other than that, I didn't see anything. How about you, Don? It's fine. All right. Hearing no more discussion, shall we vote? Uh, it's been moved and seconded to adopt the minutes of the February 6, 2023 meeting. Uh, Mr. Howison. Yes. Ms. Meyer. Yes. The minutes are approved. Um, okay. I'll now entertain a motion to pay our bills in the amount of No, that's, that's, that's the wrong one. Do we have a, um, do we have? It says in the amount of 18,521 and 11 cents. And I just quickly scanned the subtotals and they appear to be in that quarter. And this is resolution 2023-15? No. no. On the agenda, number three. Okay, okay, I'm in the wrong place. <laughs> Um, oh, I have my own copy of the agenda. That's that's what's going on. I, I don't have a copy of the agenda. Okay. All right. Oh, could you? Yeah. yeah. The amount of eighteen thousand five hundred and twenty-one dollars and eleven cents. That's general fund one thousand five hundred seventy-three dollars and forty-one cents. Fire fund nine thousand one hundred twenty-five dollars and twenty-six cents. EMS four hundred five. Dollars and seventy-six cents. Cemetery one ninety-seven dollars. Road and bridge seven thousand two hundred nineteen dollars and sixty-eight cents. And can can I get a motion for that paying our bills? I so move. And I second. Any discussion? Only exclaim on how low this is. Yeah. Because there was no pay period or something, right? Um, and if hearing no further discussion, may we vote? Moved and seconded to approve payment of bills in the amount of 18,521.11 as enumerated. Uh, Mr. Allister? Yes. Ms. Moyer? Yes. Motion approved. Okay, we have some correspondence. We had our annual MediCount annual report. OPSB, the Ohio Siting Board, uh, I guess our application was accepted in some, it was a letter from some judge, they put it into the record. Um, OTA legislative alert, the Green County Planning Commission Executive Committee agenda. Um, Auditor of State notified us of the local government officials conference, I believe that's at the end of March. Um, I'm thinking of going to that, by the way. Yeah, um, Chris thought it was a good idea. I'll be out of town. Um, if one more in particular, I'll talk to you afterwards that he thought would be interesting to go to. Um, Tecumseh, land crop, um, Tecumseh Land Trust is, is having a cover crop symposium on March 8th, market calendars. Um, Auditor of State, Hinkle System do. Um, Department of Commerce Cemetery data. Chris said that in, but there's, I was going to ask him about a grant opportunity, but um, to come to land trust director, I was hoping um, Richard would hear, Richard would be here regarding a priority property, one they've had marked as a priority for years that is, is going to be 
possibly going to auction a priority for um, conservation that is, I think it's on Dayton Yellow Springs Road. Um, Office of Budget and Management sent us something. Um, county auditors sent the real estate tax advance and Little Miami Watershed Network. Um, that came from you, Don. It was an invitation. Yes, to I, I would like. Is that what you listed in under new business? Yes. Okay. Um, yes. Yeah, so I did not see the letter memo from Michelle Burns. I would like to be looking at that right now. Um, it. It. Um, I don't have it. Um, it it's not on the table. Oh, it might be yes. Um, possibly that it was very sparsely topic. worded. It's about a particular might property. be a topic for discussion. Well, we're waiting for Don. I forgot to report that our our police, our fire chief is in attendance, our road superintendent, and our minutes. I'm going to take your quarter. Recorder. Yeah, that, that's <laughs> great. I mean, you can pick your own job title, you might as well. Right. That's much more elegant than minutes taker. No. Um, are there any public comments on the agenda? All right, Mr. Fire Chief. Okay. Since the last meeting of the board, there have been uh, 33 EMS incidents and 10 fire incidents. Uh, the last meeting I reported to you about the crisis of sorts that Ohio House Bill 509 had created for continuing education. Uh, the uh, OFCA, with a bunch of the partners, was able to corral a couple legislators into uh, fixing it. So they've introduced um, House Bill 52, which will correct that language and should be passed out of the General Assembly prior to the other one's effective date. So, so that probably won't adversely affect us. Yes. Good. Good. That's the sort of error that the Legislative Service Commission is supposed to yeah. catch. Yeah. This is not, a, not a usual. The thing. technical so. wording of legislation. Yeah. <laughs> Crazy. Um, just around there, I'll be on uh, vacation March 2nd through March 6th. I mean, like real vacation, not just bring time off. Be out of state for a few days. Uh, Assistant Chief Powell will be acting chief. And then uh, if there's anything else on your plate, I'd like to request an executive session sure. pursuant to ORC 121.22, it's not official there, uh, to consider appointment or promotion of the public. Okay. Um, then we will the proper word adjourn to executive session? I move that we adjourn to executive session. And I second. Let us and adjourn. At 509. Let's do it. Motion. My motion included for the purpose to consider appointment or promotion for public employees. I just read that in the township handbook today, so that's why I put that in there. Nothing was decided, or no votes were taken, and, um, or nothing was decided in executive yeah. decision. And there will be no vote taken. And there will be no vote taken. And we'll return to the regular meeting at 525. You want a motion to return to open yeah. session? I move. That you move that we return to open session? And no, I'll second. Someone does for that, yes. Okay. Do we need to vote on that? No. You can carry no more time. I don't know what Robert says, but what does Robert say? I, don't, I, I don't recall that we have before, but I'm happy to take a vote if you would. Uh, I'd like to. Been moved and seconded to uh, resume session following the executive session. Uh, Mr. Hollister. Yes. Ms. Moore. Yes. And we're back in session. Okay, cemetery road report. We already talked about Otama. I'll get that to you. Um, I'll let you speak first. Okay, cemetery report. We've had two burials since the last meeting. One in Glen Forest was at Ashes, and a full burial in Clifton's past Saturday. 
Okay. We have uh, Ashes Saturday and a burial this coming Saturday, but it's is that um, in Glen Forest, both Glen Forest. Forest. And we are working in the Oak Grove area. Clearing trees it needs to be watered on the south side. Clearing trees. Clearing trees and the electric guy is supposed to be there. He had a he's gonna be there today with rain and then he's got some negative things going on, so he's gonna be in by Friday. So hopefully it'll be done properly. Good day. It'll be done eventually. How did the burial to cemetery, the Clifton Cemetery go. So I remember a lot of cars. 55. Wow. Be there. I, he said, we'll have about 30 cars. I told Brandon. So we, uh, we always had to Brandon to do a good job. Yeah, he said he and his father. Mm -hmm. Roger yeah. decided he said he'd help him. So I'll send him to dinner or something. Mm -hmm. so um, yeah, he did a nice job. And I'll take the ones this weekend because we took the ones for us last week. Fair trade. That's good. I got a, the Natural Burial Committee got a letter which echoes the main concern of people who are there, and it said um, they have a, their son is buried there. Their young son. Um, we live in Columbus, and we participate in the community events, and we come here. Um, we were at Clifton, we were at Glen Forest Natural Burial Area a few weekends ago and had some concerns. Um, I'm not sure who it would be appropriate. There, there was a lot of dog droppings, and they said if it would be helpful, Sam and I would be happy to sponsor a dog bag dispenser to prevent this in the future. I don't know if they, we want to say no dogs. I mean, yeah, that's what I, I'd like to say, but you know, I know people take their dogs up there, especially one that has two huge dogs. Take it through the natural burial area? They just park them and let them run. They're, they're large dogs. Mm -hmm. Okay. Um, so it would be something to address. Yeah. I, I think it would be reasonable to have rules about that. We might not be able to enforce them. But. Yeah. You know, the dog bag thing's fine. Mm -hmm. If they let them run, it would be, you know, you'd have more leash and pick up after your dog. A dog bag kind of invites them. I don't know. Well, yes, that's um, true. So I'll talk about my cemetery people and talk about it with Chris since he's very yeah. into the cemeteries. Much. I've never never heard a complaint at the Clifton Cemetery. So. Oh, we've got people who walk dogs with it too, but I don't think there's any complaints about it. Do you think dogs I mean, dogs tear through the, the, the prairie? Oh, that's where they walk, I know. Somebody definitely walked it over the prairie. A person or multiple people? Well, probably multiple, but yeah. I know one in particular. Um, we also noticed that there were a lot of extras going into the cemetery, like holiday markers, artificial plants, and non-natural items. I, be the, I believe the rules of the cemetery expressly prohibit this. Sam and I chose this Glen Forest because we were burying a child and we wanted something that didn't look like a cemetery, but it seems with each visit there are more additional markers going in. So if this should be addressed with someone else, please let me know who. And, and that's the biggest, the ideas we've had, um, one is do a postcard mailing to everybody who's there and remind them. And what we realize happens is that p people buy these plots for themselves before they die and then their children <laughs> come in and they don't, they don't know what the, the parents have agreed to. Well, the more people we in turn are going to have more markers you know, it's the way it is. But that yeah. doesn't mean more plastic flowers. Well, right? I don't, I don't know of any plastic yeah. flowers, but kind of the stop to that. Yeah. And I don't know one in particular is doing it. We'll stop that. Okay. Her. I'll take a look, and then we can. We I'll can, look tomorrow. If you we'll see any, here. I mean, if you take down some numbers sometime, I don't mind calling people and making that call and explaining to them. If you take down a plot number or such and such, is, there, there's one in particular that has very aggressive um, non-native plants in them. And we, we, we have to address that soon because it's going to spread out and that's definitely against the rules. So I just thought I'd bring that up because, like I said, it's the number one thing that people are concerned about. Um, anything else in the cemetery, Dan or Don? 
Could you, I'm sorry, could you clarify that you said it was a letter to whom? Um, I got I got Metro Burial. The Glen Forest Natural Burial Cemetery Committee. Natural, okay, natural. I didn't think it sounded right. Thank you. Yeah, I probably didn't say it right. Thank you. Rose down? Okay. Well, I'm, I turned in the collective bid, so we're on the list. Do you want me to list the roads for you now, or do you want to wait for that? Chris told me. Any? Chris, Chris told me the roads that you decided on. I'd like them in the minutes. Would you? You can hand that to them. I can do it. Can do it. Just read them off. Um, for fog sealing, for fog sealing, we're not doing any chip sealing this year. We are doing Golden Willow Court, Larkins Road, Kyle Road, Canyard Road, William and Mary Court, and Snip Road. And the cost on that is going to be 56000 $32. And then we're going to overlay Branham Lane. And I went with the 448, which is a heavier duty for heavier traffic roads. And it come in at $40,250. And that could be less. When I saw seven dollars But that's okay. the price is through the capital right now. So, so that's seventy just for Brandon Lane? Brandon Lane. Brandon, uh, Brandon down here. Brandon. Mm -hmm. Brandon. So that's, we're good to go, and then there'll be a meeting, and then see if there's anything else. We're not going to add anything, we can't add anything. Okay. But I did get a turn in in college. Yeah, sorry about that. Um, that last minute um, road inventory. Anything else for roads? No request for bids. Just that it was a collective bid to the county. It was fun to, to drive the whole thing. All the townships go so I'm not the only people who does that regularly. That, that yeah. helps the more you have, the lower the prices. The collective. It's a really nice operation. I didn't drive the whole thing this week knowing that you guys had just done that. So I thought, well, they just did it. Um, okay, fiscal officer's report. We have a resolution. a motion to adopt resolution 2023-15 whereas it is an ongoing process to accurately appropriate funds according to the needs of the township now therefore the trustees authorize an amendment to the following temporary appropriations general fund um, travel and meeting increased by one thousand um, dollars general fund utilities increased by seven hundred um, gas tax repairs and maintenance $2,000 on natural gas $2,000 fire and levy fund a total of $16,500 I so move and I second any discussion nope hearing none shall we vote the move and second to adopt resolution 2023-15 amendment of temporary appropriations as enumerated. Mr. Hoster? Yes. Mr. Moore? Yes. The resolution is adopted. Thank you. Um, and Margaret's not here, but Don, I'm going to ask her to have our temporary budget appropriation draft by March 6th. No. by our March 6th meeting, so that we will have a full two weeks to go through it ourselves before we would have to vote on the following, on March 20th. So, and that's so we can meet the April deadline. Right, is that, is that Makes sense to me. good enough for you? Or close enough for you? Okay, cool. Um, is that temporary appropriations draft? Yeah, a draft of temporary appropriations. Okay. Um, the budget. Yes, it's the draft of budget appropriations, not temporary. <laughs> not temporary. Okay. Thank you, Don. 
Um, anything else for the fiscal officer? <laughs> Richard is not with us tonight. And standing reports. I have nothing for MBRPC. Anything done for Clifton Union? Or? Nothing for Clifton Union. Uh, the last uh, Yale Springs Development Corporation meeting, uh, we, it was well reported in the newspaper already, but uh, we are, the, the Community Foundation, uh, through their Encore Fellowship Fellow Program, is underwriting I can't remember if it's two or three months of a, a temporary or interim uh, director of the corporation while we, that person will uh, develop the plan for uh, job search or candidate search uh, for a, an executive director uh, and also short-term strategic plan to launch that, and, and that's a big step. Uh, okay. You may recall that part of the impetus for starting the OISDC was that, that would be a vehicle for selling our old fire station, which is, there is now activity, cleaning it up, getting it, remodeling it. I haven't seen them to go back. Don't see a whole lot from the outside, but okay. there's activity. Okay, cool. All right, and CASP, um, a big the climate action and sustainability project, a big player in that was Agraria. I'm not sure what their involvement will be. We're kind of reorganizing. One thing that we have, um, we have that watersheds grant and study that we've, the NIPSIS, the EPA study that we've, um, were selected for, and Agraria what, put up the initial $5,000 for that, so I have a meeting tomorrow to find out where we are with all of that, and um, between us and the village, how we will, if we will seize on that opportunity that we have. Who was uh, going to sort of spearhead that? Was it the CASP, the, committee? Um, the CASP um, we fired a the, through funding through the village, they hired a um, coordinator for six months. Yeah, so. Um, lots of re, re, um, reconfiguring going on. We have a lot to, you know, a lot to work with, but we have to re now reconfigure it with one of our major who, players. Who from Agraria was in the cast? Um, Alex Akluga. Okay, and I think I've already reported Metro Burial Committee stuff, so. Um, so you, s new business, Don, you sent us something, the Little Miami Watershed Request our participating grant. I tried to open up their images. What they want to do is um, they put signage in Sugar Creek and one other community right where any of the Little Miami or the tributaries crosses a road. They put signage to make sure people are extra careful not to put trash or anything that will spill into there. and they. They want to move this way and, and do that in three more counties. Townships. Townships. Three more townships. Um, Xenia, Miami, and one other. And they they attached images of what they look like. And I tried to open uh, it and I... I was able to I open them up you. and uh, it's nothing fancy. It's yeah. kind of straightforward. Just as you often... Well, it's... I don't remember the con. There is more than simply saying Little Miami River. Yeah. But it's, uh, I, I can't actually describe it, it but it's simple and uh, just to add a little bit to what you said. The goal is to make people aware of the watershed. And as you drive by, drive over the river or over the tributary, uh, and they just, they really, they want us to s at least sign on so they can, uh, 
uh, say, you know, this is endorsed by Miami Township. That's what I thought they might be looking for. Uh, Maybe we could be helpful. Oh, they did also ask, they looked at our map, and it's against to bit. Well, that's Richard, because he may know. They think they've determined the places. That he, they think they've determined like three or, three or five places, and maybe perhaps we know more. But I'll write them an um, email and let them know we're, that we support them and that we'd sign on. Okay. Yeah, I, do we want to make that a formal motion? Or? Would you, I don't, I don't I'd know like, that it really I'd matters. Know. Okay. Do we need a formal motion to give support to a grant, be a partner? Well, um, why don't we go ahead, because it will involve our labor of putting up sign, the signs. Will it? I believe so. I've just made that assumption. Okay. Well, I'll have to entertain I mean, a motion that we... Do we want some other organization just going and putting signs in on our right away? Is it for us? Just a that sign that says Little Miami River, or it's to identify where rivers, where our really, where our roads cross rivers. They would only put them at that location at the river. Right. Do you have a problem? With that? Don't have a problem, but Maybe. if someone starts putting up sign, I mean, well, we'll cooperate with them. So I'll entertain a motion that we I, give them support and I'll, and I'll respond to them. I I move that Miami Township endorse uh, the Little Miami Watershed Networks grant application. I'll second. Shall we vote? Okay, we've been seconded to uh, endorse the Little Miami Watershed signage grant application. Uh, Mr. Hollister? Yes. Mr. Moyer? Yes. And the motion approved. And then I think I'll mostly skip the website update. Um, there's going to be at our next meeting a um, a company that I met at, at the, the conference who specializes in Ohio Township websites and they're going to come give us a, a short spiel, a, a pitch on, May, on March 6th. I'll, I'll let them tell it. Um, any old business? Uh, not for tonight, but I will bring up at the next meeting uh, future solar considerations. Okay. I'll put that on the agenda for the next meeting. All right. Um, I'll make a motion that we adjourn. If, if there's no other... I have no objection to our adjournment. I'll second that lack of objection. <laughs> well, I think rather than Adjourning by acclamation, I think the chair can declare it adjourned if there's no objection. I declare this meeting adjourned. At, At 5.45. Okay.